Imagine having your vision constantly obstructed and doctors cannot figure out why. Well, tonight our Wendy Ryan is taking action for your health, uncovering a rare medical condition most physicians have never heard of. And she tells us what's being done to treat it. Wendy? Yeah, that's right, Linda. Many people see spots just before getting a migraine or occasional floaters in our field of vision. And they eventually do go away. But imagine if every single day you saw circles or static or colors that were not really there and never went away. At heart, Karina English is an artist. I am painting, I guess, what I wish I saw. Wish because what this teenager actually sees looks more like this. Like, you know how when, like, a TV's on the wrong channel and there's all those black and white little dots? It's, like, more so transparent. For the last three years... When you look outside right now, what do you see? It, there's kind of black spots, um, just random little squiggly colors. She's the girl who sees snowflakes when it isn't snowing. I thought I was going blind. <laughs> I was horrified. When Karina's vision changed, doctors ran test after test, first on her eyes. I have 20-20 vision. Then on her brain. There's no lesions on my brain. There's no swelling. Everything came back normal. They were telling me that I was just having migraines and pretty much labeled me as a crazy person and sent me on my way with some prescription pills. But her mom never stopped searching. If I came home, I googled ocular migraines, and then I put the word constant in front of it, and boom, visual snow popped up all over. And so she just showed me this video, and like I was watching it, and I started crying, and I was like, that's me, that's what I'm going through, that's, that's what I see. Is this easy to miss as a doctor? I think it's easy because it's so rare. Dr. Victoria Pellick, a neuro-ophthalmologist with the University of Colorado, says there are no known cases of visual snow causing blindness. And the thought is that it's an electrical circuit that's unable to be shut off. So it's like a lamp that you can't shut off. Treatments include drugs for altitude sickness or seizures. But for many patients, nothing works. There is no cure for visual snow. So this is the visual snow page. For Karina, comfort comes from a Facebook forum where people go to find answers and assurance. I love this because if some people are freaking out about things that I've gone through, I can tell them, like, it's okay, you're okay. She now plans to go to medical school to research visual snow. Because I'm not going to let it put me back in that dark place that I was in. After finding some answers, she says she may still see snowflakes everywhere she looks, but her vision is stronger than ever. I just want people to know that this is a thing, that this is real. There are more than a thousand people on that Visual Snow Facebook group, but researchers say they don't know exactly how many people have this condition. They do hope stories like ours will raise awareness both for the medical community and for people who don't know what they have. I'm Wendy Ryan. Take